Hi and welcome to Heskey Agency. We have developed a custom code for the Jet Engine Meta field, which allows users to download and display files using this Meta field. This functionality is dynamically executed in the back end. Here you see the custom code. The link can be found below. Now I'm just pressing Update and then it automatically creates a widget form on the dashboard. Now let's go to the dashboard. Here you see Manage PDF Shortcodes. Here we have View and then we have Download. I'll come back to that. Let's go to Jet Engine and then to Post Types. We have already created a custom post type. Then we click on it. Scroll down to Meta Field and then scroll down. Then you click on Add New Meta Field, but we have already created a Meta Field. Now I can show how we have set it up. Then you just enter the Meta Field name and the ID is right here. What's important here for file type, you choose Media. And then you choose Value Format. Set it to Media ID and then we click on Update. Then we go back again to the custom post type, which we have already created. Then we go to one of the posts here. I choose this one. Here you see the meta field name, download PDF. Then we click on choose file, and then we select the file we wish to show, publish or download. Then we click on update. And then we copy the meta field ID or name. Then we click on it and it automatically clicks. Then we go back again to the dashboard and then we click on it. Here you see the widget form for the PDF shortcode. We can start with view first and then we enter the title. And then we put in the meta file. Then we just click on add shortcode. Then it automatically creates a shortcode for us and then we can go to download. Then we choose a title here, and then we choose the same meta file. So you don't need to create two meta files, one for download and one for view. You can use the same meta file. Then we click on add shortcode. Here we have got two shortcodes, one for download and one for view. Then we go to jet engine again, and then we go to listing. We have already created a listing. Then we go to Edit with Elementor. Here you see the listing that we have already created. Then we search for the shortcode widget here. Then we drag it in there. Then we go back to the dashboard and then copy the shortcode here. And then we put it in here. Then you see that it shows the download PDF file and then we can duplicate it. Then we go back again to the dashboard and then we copy the shortcode, the shortcode name for view, come back again. After that, we put it in here. Here you see download PDF file and view PDF file. And then we have created a CSS code, one for view and one for download. The link can be found below. Then we copy it. We go to the download PDF file widget. And then we go to advanced. Scroll down to custom CSS and then we put the code here. So I can explain a bit. Here you see the class name. The class name is the same name as the short code name. If you read the comment here, it says for styling under shortcode name as CSS class. That means the shortcode name is also the class name. Then we just copy that. And then we put it here and here. And then we fetch the CSS code for view. We click on the shortcode widget 
and then we go to Advanced, and then we go to CSS Custom, and finally, we put the code here. It's the same here too. There is the class name. That is, the short code name automatically also becomes the class name. So you just put it in there and in here. And then we just click on Update. Then we go back again to the front end. We click on Clear Cache. Here you see both buttons, one for download PDF file and one for view PDF file. We can test and see if it works, so we click on Download. There you see that the file is downloaded, and then we click on View PDF file. There you see that the file is displayed very nicely. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and share if you liked the video. See you in the next video.